What is up, Star Seeds? It's Sid, and tonight I am going to be talking about a pretty awesome topic, okay? Stargazing. Now, this is for beginners. I don't even have a telescope, so if you are looking for telescope recommendations, that is another video in the future, honey. I'm sorry, but for now, look somewhere else. And if you are a beginner, like this video says in the description and possibly the title, um, yeah, you don't need to go out and buy a telescope, okay? Um, binoculars from Target are just fine, but I don't even have a nice pair of binoculars yet, if I'm being honest, okay? I look up at the sky with my eyes, and yeah, I eat a lot of carrots, but they're not the best, okay? Um, <laughs> I have apps, so that is what I use the most. And um, you can look in the description for timestamps and app names. Um, but if you are old school and you're like, nah, Sid, I, I don't do the apps. I need some paper in front of me. Um, my friend, please stop wasting trees. But I will help you there. Um, you can go to a website. It is in the description. Um, so if I'm not right on the name look in the description but I believe it's skymaps.com and it is hidden in text okay so you gotta look carefully for the actual star charts but um, they are fairly easy to read it's just a circle on a piece of paper and it'll tell you events on um, the left hand side of the paper going all the way down for that month usually and then there's, you know, a picture of all the constellations that you can see in the sky in, you know, either the northern or southern hemisphere, wherever you are. And, um, you know, it'll show you what's visible that month in the sky. So the zenith, um, the point directly above you, is going to be in the middle of that circle. Sorry guys, I've got kitties crawling on me, but if you want to figure out where you are in relativity to the star chart you're looking at, then I would look up at your zenith and see what constellations you see and then look at the star chart and figure out where you are, okay? Look for, you know, Orion's belt if you can see it or if it's in the star chart. If it's not in the star chart for that month, then I wouldn't go looking for Orion's belt. It's probably something else. Um, but look for the bright stars. Look for Sirius, okay? Look for Arcturus. Look for Lyra or Vega. Um, you know, look for a zodiac constellation if you can spot those out. Or, you know, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. And, um, yeah, so the stuff on the outside, the it's going to be like a weird black thing, the outer circle, is your horizon, okay? That's like the ground. That's going to sound weird, but if you're looking at a circle on a sheet of paper and you're looking, you know, from the ground of Earth up at the sky, think about it, okay? That's the ground. That's your all of that horizon wherever you are so the zenith in the middle like i said and it makes sense if you're looking at 2d and you know 3d or 4d almost 5d but anyways now if you are just interested in learning when meteor showers are or learning when astrological events are then there is other websites in the description of this video for that but we are going to get into these apps in a second. But I just want to say that, you know, I don't have a telescope yet and I don't even have binoculars yet because it is way easier and it is way more beneficial. And it's just, it feels so much better in your heart and soul to feel all the stars in the universe without having to look at it through you know, a mechanical device. I bet you any money in a couple years I'm gonna have a video on telescope recommendations and whatever, because now it's just not important. It's not relevant now. And you know, in the future, I'm gonna do a video on that and it's gonna be relevant for me because 
you're going to click on it whenever it's relevant for you. And if you're interested in other things about awakening and, you know, how to understand about these star systems once you stargaze and feel stars you are attracted to and drawn to and connected to and feel like home for you um i'm gonna do videos on that you know connecting to syrian roots connecting to andromedan roots and connecting to vegan roots and all of it so we are going to be getting into these apps now. Like I said, the timestamps and the names of the apps are all in the description of this video. So, Meteor Shower Calendar. So, this one is if you type in like Meteor Shower, Meteor Shower Calendar in the App Store, you will find it in the picture. It says Meteor Shower Calendar, black background, white letters. You'll find it, okay? It's free. And um, it just gives you a list of all of the meteor showers and their names and the levels of stars, you know, one, two, three, or four stars. The more stars, the more meteors you will see in the sky for that meteor shower. And, you know, it'll tell you the dates that it's from. You know, meteor showers last a while, like a month, and it'll tell you the peak date. You know, the peak is the most meteors visible in the sky obviously so you can also see you know the weather for the day and the moon phase for the day on that app it's pretty cool and then another app that i love the best one for stargazing is <laughs> skyview okay i had skyview light and i wasn't sure the difference between skyview and skyview light but in sky view you can see the other constellations as well it's a bit of money i believe because you know i did go a little app crazy a couple days ago and i got all of these other astrology apps that i didn't have before i just had sky view light and you see the zodiac constellations and you know all of these stars and you can type in other galaxies and you know all the planets and stuff you see and some satellites but you don't see all the other constellations you know just the stars but if you get a regular sky view not the light then you can get all of the other constellations as well now we are going to go over <laughs> some other apps where you can see all of the constellations and planets and some you can see other galaxies some you have to pay some money for um i would get them and experiment if you like the description of it then search it up in the app store get it and see you know how much money it is because if it is money let me tell you it's an investment if you like um, the look of it okay pick the app you like the look of because all of these other ones I'm going to name um, they're just gonna have different looking backgrounds some you can choose a grid for some don't have lines some have like pictures you'll see what I mean you have to get them and you know play around with it most of these apps like Skyview I'm talking about tonight you move your phone um, to see everything so the way I move it in real life in that sliver of space in a distance um, That object that it says on my phone is there is there, you know miles away in space so sky view um, The one that I like better that you can see all the constellations um, comes in a bundle for like four or five dollars with this other app satellites or it's cheaper if you just want the sky view it's probably only like a dollar or two but you can pay like four or five dollars and get the satellites app with it which is pretty cool you can see all of these satellites um military scientific weather all of them um the ones close to earth um, a bit farther away and then you know in deep space and it'll give you a description of what they all mean when you click on them and you can do it 
in the same view like sky view is um looking in front of you or you can have it so you can just like look at it on your phone see earth as a circle and then see all of the satellites around it and click on them you know um it's really cool so another app i want to talk about is star walk 2 okay this just like looks really pretty it's another layout and there is in-app purchases so i do believe you can see um everything like all the constellations like normal and you can dial it down the brightness of just having it dark and um than you know seeing like a galaxy behind you or not but that's pictures of the constellations it's not just the lines and um you can go back in time though to certain days um there's time lapse on there um that's awesome and you can search just like sky view um but they have an app purchases where you can get info on planets for a dollar you can see you know everything Jupiter is made out of, general information on it when you click on it, and then you can get things so you can see asteroids and dwarf planets and everything else. It's just awesome. It's like a different look and it's a bit um, different of information. Um, I like looking at um sky view when i'm outside stargazing and then if i just want info on things or if i want to look when i'm inside i use um star walk too that's what i'm guilty of the app zodiac is from the same makers as star walk too it's from um vito tech v-i-t-o not exactly sure how to say that but it's a great company i think not exactly sure you know i don't know them but i like it it's a nicely set up app if you are trying to draw the zodiac constellations or you're interested in the names of the stars you know it's just like a outline of the ram picture with the lines of the zodiac constellation itself and you know some star names and the stars where they are so it's just a really nicely set up app you can you know hit the next button there's Taurus hit the next button they're all there I believe it's free so it's great stellar skies is definitely one of my favorite apps okay the thing I hate about it is the fact that ads pop up every second unless you pay um, $12.99 so I believe the app is free and the layout is just my favorite because you can pick if you see a grid or not you can pick if you see the star names or not you can pick if you see the lines and the constellations or not and you can pick if you see the pictures and the constellations or not it's really cool um so that's why it's my favorite and then another one is star tracker light and i just think it's the coolest looking like there's like red and green and yellow and like orange and purple and blue and these cool colors and like a black background but there's just lines for the constellations and the star names and there's all of these freaking constellations and it just looks really nice and you can pay mm, 2.99 i believe for like no ads there's not as many ads on that one but some extra stuff too a star map is like a black background and then there's a weird um like white box focusing in that says el and az with like altitude coordinates on it telling you um you know where exactly this star is that you're um pointing it at in front of you whatever you're focusing on um but you can pay $1.99 for the constellations and $1.99 for the planets. All it comes with is the zodiac constellations and some of, you know, the basic planets in our solar system for free. But that's pretty much all it is. So it's probably my least favorite that I have on my phone. But I have it on my phone because it looks really nice and it has um you know numbers on it so in the future when i get more into this that might come in handy 
but it is a really accurate one, so that's why I have it. Um, another one is Constellation Map, and the icon for this app is just like a purple background with, you know, like a yellow constellation on it, and this one, it looks like a video game in the app. Um, there's, you know, star names and just lines for the constellations, no pictures for them, but it looks like it's in front of you, but it's also over a globe on the app. That's why it looks so weird. It's a weird angle, but anyways, if you like the look of that one, then that one might be your favorite, but that's kind of at the bottom of my list because I like just looking in front of you and not having it over a globe too. It's kind of a lot going on, but it does still look professional and like Pac-Man sort of because there's just the lines and the names and, you know, good info and it's on a grid because it's over a globe. This one has altitude for you too and another one is sky map. And this one is like a star chart on your phone, okay? It looks really pretty, but it's just a circle, and it's not like in front of you. It's basically just a star chart on your phone, but it's a lot easier to use because it's just updated all the time for you. It knows exactly where you are, and it knows what day it is, so that's why it's so handy. It'll show you what constellations are at your zenith. It'll show you which ones are around it east west north south that's why it's you know so handy if you like that style satellite tracker shows you some major stars some major planets around you it's not set up the best if you're trying to just like view it like that around you but the cool thing about it is it will show you when the ISS is passing over you next. It will even notify you every single day. Um, it can also show you um, in the dark when it's nighttime somewhere. It's like a view of over the globe usually. And um, places where it's night, you can see all the lights. And like now, Australia's burning. When it's dark, you can see that. Um, and that's pretty sad but that is a cool feature of the app. If you are interested in outer planets or exoplanets, then the apps Exoplanet and Exoplanets are for you, okay? I'm pretty sure one of them is free, one of them is money, or they're both a bit of money. They might both be free, but if they are, it's only a couple dollars. It's not anything over ten dollars or anything like that, but in these apps, um, Exoplanet, it says there is um, like 3,700 and something confirmed exoplanets and 3,000 something um, selected planets in their database. And then Exoplanets has um, over 4,000 planets in their database. So that is a wide range of, you know, outer planets to look at. But the difference is that Exoplanet, um, you can filter options and, you know, see what is compatible with Earth and cool stuff like that. So that is pretty much all for the astronomy apps, but I am going to tell you about three cool astrology apps because you guys probably know I love, love, love astrology. Now, CoStar is the first one I'm going to talk about. This one is like a social app, okay? You can connect with your friends on this. Put in your birthday and it will tell you all of your planet signs and your rising sign if you know the time of your birth. And you can see your compatibility with certain aspects of your friend's personality and you can get daily updates about what's going on, what's happening with your personality in relation to where the planets are that day. So that is really awesome. The other one I really love is horoscopes, okay? You can get a horoscope for today, tomorrow, this week, and this month for all the zodiac signs, and you can see compatibility with other zodiac signs too, um, compa uh, compatibility for um, children and um, work and um, sex, so different categories of relationships, so that's awesome. And then the other app I really love is um, Tzolkin, okay? If you like Mayan astrology, if you're interested in Mayan astrology, get this app. It is free. Um, 
these three apps I'm talking about for astrology are all free. And um, this um, Tzolkin app will blow your mind, okay? It has day signs. It has night lords. It has galactic tones. And it goes from the year 1 to the year 10,000, okay? So anyone that you know born on Earth, if they're born, you know, past B.C., okay, after Christ, we're going to know their Mayan signs, which is awesome, and you can see the descriptions of all of them, and you can just see, like, the Mayan spiral and all of that. Um, very useful. If you like Mayan astrology, that app is a must-get, and that is um, all for the apps I'm describing. Please feel free to comment ask questions about any of the apps I talked about, and um, if you know any other cool apps, let me know, you guys, for real. Um, but this all isn't just about apps, okay? Stargazing is the opposite of apps. Stargazing is about freaking nature and what's really out there. But these apps will help you... Um, see constellations if that's what you want to see but what I really want to say you guys I've said this at the end of a few YouTube videos but when you're stargazing please 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 like don't use apps first don't like know what the constellations are like if you do you can't help it but if you haven't looked at star charts before if you don't know um, you know, what certain stars are called or what certain constellations look like. Please just look at the sky before you get into this and realize what you feel connected to. This is so important. And, um, you know, even if after you get these apps and after you know all, all these constellations' names, you can still do this. It'll still work if you're being genuine about it. Um, yeah. That's it for this video, you guys. Um, I do videos on a bunch of different topics. And in the future, we're going to do lots of other constellation videos, star videos, and alien videos. So, love and light, and the hybrid children are coming soon.